It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height, but big differences in reach. We go inside the Ladies octagon. Here is Bruce Buff. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Pedro the Young Punisher, Munoz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely get myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Straight punch landed with so much power. Oh, crisp boxing here. The 
a right punch, followed immediately up by a left. Got Clip with a right hand. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Oh, tags him with that money left again. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Nice punch there. Big leg kick lands. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Just over three minutes to go. Muay Thai Plump. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Ooh! Beautiful spinning attack there! Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Oh, power time. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice move to punch. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. How about that chin? Oh, nice. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Lee gets hit with a kick. Yep. <laughs> the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Ooh, head kick lands. Right left combo by Lee. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. It's the elbow there. Real quick leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big E land right to the opponent's midsection. Big power shot there. Time. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Ready? Ready? All right, second round underway. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Strong hook to the head there by Lee. Single collar tie now. 
All right, so able to get the hands going once again. He lands another punch. Nice work on the feet by Luke. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, another strike lands. To th oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Knee to the body. Nice stick to the body. Way to make something harder. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh! Oh, oh countering it looks like with a bomb flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, to the mount. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Just over three minutes to go now. Let's go. You got a scramble here. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. I mean, how many can he take? Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> back to your feet. Come on. Get back to your feet. Get back to your feet. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. And he's back up. was blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Wow. And point accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a cool kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corners, that's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Big body. Nice knee by Lee. Beautiful strike. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, the hook lands. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh! More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, 
But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Third round underway. Punches in bunches and oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh! Got the single collar tie. Caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at him. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Whoa! <laughs> Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. This might just be a matter of time. So he submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a gray in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he 